away from his hand, but if he stays to the front, he's got a shot. Nope. Almost instantly, Wu Pa sends another message. Keep in mind for these judges, with that little amount of time, to, oh, look at this, 47 and a quarter. Forget what I was about to say, the judges only needed two seconds. Hey, I was with you where you were going, man. I was following along. <laughs> But they seen enough. Wu Pa with another oh wow. And it's the way he finishes. You know, Keyshawn's back right there. It's over. But that, and then giving him that little kick, that's the last thing they see. Big. <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge score, man. It's a monster score. Well, if you're. Knocked out. I mean, he he had the deal sealed, and then just that middle air. I would not expect that to happen again. That was an amazing stat that Jesse threw out. They have met six previous times. Smooth Operator has won every pairing so far. Again, smooth operator slices and dices, and Pacheco is left wanting. Yeah, there was no middle errors there. Big bull scores, 45 and a half for smooth operator. Takes him a little longer to get to the spin, but that doesn't mean it makes him any easier. He's throwing some stuff at him as he's getting into this turn back here, and then you just watch the sheer power he put on Pacheco, snaps his head in the air, right over. Show it yet again. Hey, 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 Bruiser, Bruiser, Bruiser! Bruiser brought it yet again. The last time they met, it went Pacheco's way. This time, it wasn't just the pendulum, it was the wrecking ball that swung on Bruiser's side. Wow, this is, this is pretty impressive right here. And you talk about string him out and whip him down. This bull blows up out of there, and I mean does a quick, very fancy cool move out of there. Cooper Davis gets thrown down like a lawn dart. 3.98 is all that one lasts. Absolutely slammed into this surface. You know, and this is what I was talking about. You know, th this bull is good at getting guys leaning back, like right here. Now look at this. This riding arm is so stretched out right here. There's only one thing going to come after that when you're talking about a bull that's that strong, and, and that's it. You talk about getting slammed to the ground. Already noted, Max said, this is the defending world champion bucking bull. Gage Gay rode him well for about three and a half seconds, but again, back to Long John's power. He just seemed to over-dominate Gay. And I know coming into this, we were talking with our partner, Leah Garcia, earlier. Gage didn't want this bull's reputation to be the reason that he bucked him off this time. And I felt like he got around the corner really good. All he had to do was keep doing what he had been doing. You know, you, you can't let up. It, these bulls never level off. Well, 46 and a half, the judges were as impressed as you just were. So Long John.
push. Wacker brought it yet again. In a Remember, Jamie Moody has ridden this bull earlier this year. LJ Jenkins still in the fight for that bull buckle. LJ seemed so good for so long. We're waiting for the scores to come in, and it's just what he needed. 46 and a half points. Asteroid is the 2012 World Champion Bucking Bull. He's got to meet this kid. He's got to meet the kid, Craig. Yep, Caleb Sanderson doing his best, taking both so far. Great correction right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. How in the world is Caleb standing up right now? That is an unbelievably tough man right there. Caleb. Let's listen in. This is what it sounds like down on the dirt. Wow. Another shot. A great job by our camera crew right here and our audio crew to get us these sights and sounds. He takes the left horn and oh. then again to the chin. Are you kidding me? And then he nearly just landed on his feet. This is like being at the World Series with the bases loaded. And like you said a moment ago, if you're watching at home, and we, we're glad you are, but you are missing an event like no other. And Valderon, Olaveda, knows he lasted long enough on Code Blue. Well, all he had to outlast was 3.6 seconds, and it was long enough. 4.5 for Valron Olaveda to win the first ever Iron Cowboys Invitational. He's with Leah Garcia for the presentation. Leah. It is Chicken on a Chain who wins the duel and says, I may be walking off into the sunset too, but tonight's mine. Well, I can tell you, I was rooting for Chris Shivers with everything I had. And, you know, he's as good a guy, a good, as good a bull rider as I've ever seen in my life. But there's got to be some fiber of you that's pulling for this old bull, too. You're looking at a 12-year-old bull, a world champion bull, the most famous bull that's probably ever graced this sport. Anybody that follows this sport at all knows about chicken on a chain. either direction but he likes to turn back to the left but the last time we saw this bull buck was in Fort Worth he didn't have a very good day they laid him off gave him some rest and hopefully he'll come back as strong as he did last year but this bull when they ride him the average score is 92 points shivers leans forward on the runner up bull of the year Mossy over punch slinger getting ready getting ready Dodges his head gate swings open bull comes out this tough he's got Chris on his chin shivers is recovered shivers is And that's a, that's a tough break for Chris Shearers at this event. But you know what that is going to do? That's going to light the fire in Chris Shearers. Bad news for Little Yellow Jacket. You think that because he, let's see me touch the bull right here. You're watching, watch that right hand. See if you see it at 2.6. No, boy, Justin. Man, oh man, you judges are tough.
Edgard was 93 points on that bull in Cheyenne, and that's when people really started looking at this bull as a contender for Bull of the Year. This Brian Cantor gets here as an alternate. This is his first ever Built for Tough Series event. Showed up last night and rode his very first bull. Easy money. What can he do on the Bull of the Year? Not much, and, and Brian, there's no shame in that. Wow. Welcome to the big leagues, Brian Cantor. You know, and we're and there's a, this Brian Cantor. You know, he looks like he's about seven years old, truly, literally. Uh, no, and, he uh, doesn't. He looks like he's nine. Nine, anyway. Here's last year's world champion bull, little yellow jacket, owned by Tom Teague, the Burger family, and Jody Newberry comes down. Little Yellow Jacket. Come all in the championship round. Jody Newberry with an opportunity to become famous with one ride. What an athlete this little rascal is. Little Yellow Jacket changing it up. Usually he's just Whoa. been right here to the left. We've seen him go. Left. This is an unread bull. Let's see. Look right, back around the left, this kid's in trouble. That's a hard bull to ride right there. I just don't know what's gonna happen after four seconds because no one's ridden him any further than that. Uh, right, and you know, these guys haven't seen the bull. You know, he's not that, like a promised land or a or a panhandle slim or, you know, a bull that, you know, a, even a rampage. Uh, but you see, he is the real deal. You know, he's a major league player and, you know, around to the left and, you know, just make short work of Justin. Justin up you know he's put the hat trick behind him and uh, he's got to move up here and he knows this is where the the, the veterans shine let's get it on promise land aaron coming left get your shoulder to him or oh get out from under him get out of there Dig down. Boy. boy he got hit hard and stepped on hard look at that vest look at that vest look at it. Look at that fan. Ooh. It's it ripped that. Aaron is uh, as lucky as a guy to, to get up and walk away from that as anybody you'll ever see because, and I just cringed, and I just cringed. When the bull turned back to the left, I just cringed you know, because, yeah. because you could see it coming. You yep. see it coming. And, and thinking about Keith Adam getting his nose broke. You had that bull knock him out, John. Exactly. Maybe changing his name. Come on, Nick, get it going. No, no. And he's not gonna do it. Do you think that bull was ready to go, Donnie Terry Williams bull? Wow, that's Moody Blues, and I'm telling you, that bull, they could have named this one totally electric because he gets it on, he'll, and he'll spin either way. It's not left every time you saw Nick's left foot come up. Little bull just getting with the program. Nick Buckley had a good shot at some money right there. his hand if he does this ball will spur the hair off of well that's a great shot just forward on that road yes sir well cody hart comes down but he you know not for lack of effort going for it you know he's he's here trying to win first throw two out of four that's a rodeo bull right there. Now watch him come and see he slipped back off his rope. He opens up, he gets a hold with it. You can't make a mistake at this level. You heard us say it almost every performance, somebody gets caught. Cody Hart got caught just then. A little out of position. Gets but so does the guy that's taking that rap. Tough guy, Owen Dunn. He says, mate, I just love doing this. <laughs> he does, too. Here we go. That ride, the baby face, Terry Williams bull out of Texas. In his hand, come on, Owen, come on, Owen, oh, no. Whoa. I mean, he just wouldn't even let go. Had to get knocked loose. Oh. Another no score. And Nani, that was about five feet away from us, and he took about five pops to the nose and still wouldn't let go. 
well, ends up with 170 points. You know, I mean, that's just part of it. Uh, watch this. No, no, no. He takes the foot out and goes trying to spur right there. He got to moving. Now, he just wanted to hang on, and he still wouldn't let go. Baby face just pounds him. He said, man, he said, I just look like a little cutie. He said, I'm really a tough bull. Boy. number four ladies and gentlemen this bull is a disabler he has jerked a lot of guys down and tonight scott puts the mask on and i don't blame him keep your face where it belongs keep your butt down in there scotty right there bull call it scott look out well ladies and gentlemen he's down heads up boys he's safe all right ladies and gentlemen he is voted the rankest the greatest bucking bull in the country but his reputation has again come to fact. Do me a favor. Everybody quit grinding your teeth. Everybody think positive. For those of you yes. that are believers, you know where your heart is.